there's little Shungi there. She's still in the area around Twin Downs. And she's out and about munching on some grass this morning. She's probably got a bit of a bad stomach. And it's not uncommon to see the big cats eating on nice fresh green grass. Oh, she heard something. What have you heard, little madam? I wonder if mom is going to arrive or if young Hosanna is somewhere in this area as well. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Hope you guys are getting some great screenshots. <laughs> Always look a bit silly when they're eating grass. And oh, she's looking very hungry. So she might use this cold, windy weather to possibly catch a Franklin or a duck or a dove or anything that might come around this waterhole. Uh, there is that group of a male and pilot that I know, I think we're here last night, but they are a little bit out of her size range just yet. Yeah. Okay, just uh, move a little bit. Now, Lawrence would like to know, would Tingana mate with Shongile once she is sexually mature? Uh, yes, he would, especially if he's still in the area, and it is not uncommon for that to happen. But normally you find, it's quite strange how male leopard territories work, they normally get settled like Tingana's got, and then in about three or four years they sort of shh, not change territories but they shift territories and, and they seem to move into a slightly different area and the reason for this is to try minimize the mating with their offspring but it does happen it is not as bad in big cats as it is say in human beings in terms of genetic defects and things like that but it can happen Oh, you can hear the wind gusting. It seems to get stronger and stronger. It's quite a good area for her to fossick about. And lots of Franklin, might be some scrub hair uh, hiding up in these little thickets here. Ideally for her, of course, mom would come back with a meal, or come back to fetch her to take her to a meal. Uh, Amanda's wondering the eating of grass, does it calm their stomach or does it make them throw up? It generally makes them throw up, so anything that might be uh, sort of affecting them and gets, the, gets it out. Just the same as with domestic dogs and cats. She's very busy this morning looking all about. She spotted something to the west of us. As I said, as we came through to this area, there were some impala there, and there was a bachelor group, no babies, so I think a little bit too big for our young princess. Remember the hashtag SafariLive on Twitter if you've got any questions about this incredible cat.